topics in the previous segment, boxing. I talked about how Donna Stevens beat up on Andres Fanfara to retain his WBC heavyweight championship. Also talked about the Stanley Cup finals. Uh, series tied at two games apiece between the Pittsburgh Penguins. I was about to say the Steelers. The Pittsburgh Penguins and the Nashville Predators. And we also gave a little recap about Colin Kaepernick, no pun intended. I'm going to start talking about Colin Kaepernick every episode until he gets signed by an NFL team. Um, I think that's ridiculous that no one has uh, you know, acquired his services yet. All these trash and garbage quarterbacks who are employed by NFL teams and um, former Super Bowl you know, quarterback Colin Kaepernick does not have a job. Baffles me, bro. Baffles me, bro. But I digress. Um, we're going to get into the NBA Finals right now. Like I said before the break, Cleveland, you in trouble, bro. You in trouble, trouble. The Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers, man, everybody wanted this to happen from the beginning of the season. Round three. The Cavs and the Warriors, man. Bron James, love Bron James, Kyrie, Kevin Love. That whole Cleveland Cavaliers squad versus Steph, Katie, Clay, Draymond, and the Golden State Warriors, man. Everybody wanted this to happen all season. Everybody said that the NBA season was boring, that the playoffs were boring. Everyone knew who was going to come out of the East. Everyone knew who was going to come out of the West. And we just wanted to get to the NBA Finals. But after two games, are we still wanting this NBA Finals? After two games, man, two games of which Golden State looked pretty damn good, man. The Golden State Warriors have a two games to zero lead of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, both those two games were in Golden State, so the series shifts back to Cleveland. But the first two games, bro, E, bro, C, man, Golden State looks good, man. They look better than Halle Berry on the last Boy Scout when she was dancing in the club for Damon Wayans. Look it up, young people. You, you'll thank me later. Golden State looks real good right now, man. KD, he looks good in a, in a Warriors uniform playing in these finals, man. It, it it's it, the first two games. Let me break down the first game briefly because I don't have much time. Now the first game, the first quarter, stupid good, man. High level basketball. I was uh, talking to my brother. I was like, man, the first quarter was awesome. I was in a group chat with my LBs, my line brothers. Um, you know, at, from Virginia State University, uh, Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated, um, New Side Chapter. My LBs, man, the um, the dyslexic dumping dozen, or I like to call us the All Madden Ninja Team. But uh, yeah, we were talking on group chat, and the first quarter, man, we were hyped. We were like, man, this is this is gonna be awesome, man. But slowly but surely, Golden State pulled away. Now, LeBron had a beast first game. You know, Braun was killing in the first game. 28 points, 15 rebounds, 8 assists. Kevin Love actually had a pretty good game as well. 15 points, 21 rebounds. Kyrie had a pretty good game. He had 24 points. But it, it just wasn't enough, man. Kevin Durant, 38 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists. You know, Steph, you know, had his best finals game, in my humble opinion. Had 28 points, 10 assists. I think Cleveland, two factors struggled they struggled in two facets of the game in game one they turned the ball over way too many times over 20 turnovers golden state only had four turnovers that's the that ties the finals record for fewest turnovers and golden state was just quicker they were quicker to loose balls they were quicker to get rebounds they now they didn't out rebound cleveland but they got timely offensive rebounds and when you're a great offensive team like the warriors cleveland you cannot give the warriors second and third chance opportunities to score baskets if you play defense for 24 seconds you need to finish off that defensive possession get the defensive rebound either get out on the break or slow it down in the first game cleveland too many turnovers lebron had eight turnovers lebron you're the best player in the world you can't turn the ball over eight times bro you can't do it man you can't turn the ball. you got to value the basketball and you can't have that many turnovers over 20 as a team and expect to win the game. That's just like me going, you know, to that's just like me going to the mall 
and I have $50 in my pocket. And if I lose 30 of that $50, I only got 20 left. So I'm not even giving myself a chance to have a great shopping experience by losing that $30. LeBron, you lost $30, but you turned the ball over eight times in the first half. Man. You know, you, you can't do that and expect to beat good teams, let alone the Warriors. Man, this team is, is outstanding. It's stupendous. It's superlative. It's out of this world. And you can't beat these Golden State Warriors if you turn the ball over. You can't beat the Golden State Warriors if you don't get the loose balls, if you don't, you know, get timely rebounds. You can't beat this team, Cleveland, if you're not playing on all cylinders. And, you know, that that was proven in game one. The first quarter was close. It was pretty close at halftime, but Golden State pulled away in the third quarter. Now, moving on to, to, to game two, same recipe. But it just take it just took a little bit longer, you know, to happen. Close first quarter. Uh, Golden State actually scored like forty points in the first quarter. Man, they they're just an offensive juggernaut. Um, but it was only a three point halftime lead for the Warriors. LeBron was balling. Um, he he ended up with a triple double, twenty nine points, eleven rebounds, fourteen assists. Kevin Love actually had a pretty good game, twenty seven points, seven rebounds. Um, Kyrie had a he didn't have a really good game. Kyrie was turning the ball over. I think Kyrie turned into LeBron in the second game. He only had 19 points, very loose with the basketball, turned the ball over several times. I don't know what you were doing, Kyrie. Not efficient from the floor whatsoever. Eight for 23 from the floor. That's not going to get it done. You got it. I know Clay Thompson is guarding you next this season, this playoffs. And I commend Golden State. They made an adjustment. Last playoffs, they had – you know, Steph Curry guiding, guarding Kyrie. And Steph can't guard Kyrie. They put Klay Thompson on Kyrie these first two games, and it's really bothered him. And when Kyrie has been able to get past Steph Curry, they have having a, another defender to come over to bother Kyrie's shot. So in game two, Kyrie was not effective at all. But Kevin Durant was super effective again. Had 33 points, 13 rebounds. Steph Curry had a triple-double himself. 32 points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists. 14 for 14 from the free throw line. I think he may have been 16 for 16. I know he shot 10 free throws in the first quarter. And that's ridiculous, referees. I'm not a Cleveland homer, but I am a LeBron James fan. And I'm pulling for the Cleveland Cavaliers. But come on, man. Steph Curry shooting 10 free throws in the first quarter. Yeah, okay. Um, Clay Thompson broke out of his slump, 22.7 rebounds in game two. Uh, Draymond had a pretty solid game as well. But the third quarter, that doomed the Cleveland Cavaliers again. Cleveland, you, you have to keep scoring, man. This Golden State team, offensively, they're blessed. You know, offensively, they can get the job done. They shoot a lot of three-pointers. I think they hit like 18 three-pointers. They were 18 for like 40-something. Um you, you have to keep scoring, or you got to play hellacious defense. Choo, pick one. Choose one. So you, you can't not play defense and not score. So um, Tyron Lou, LeBron James, the Cleveland Cavaliers, game three, you, you got to get it done. Because if you don't win game three, I'm not going to say you're going to get swept, but you, you stand a pretty pretty good chance of getting swept if you don't win game three. But you're back in Cleveland. Role players usually play better. At home, so the J.R. Smiths of the world, the Kyle Corvers, the Channing Fries, the Iman e- Shumpert, Darren Williams, they usually, those are role players for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They usually play better at home. But I got a question for the Cleveland Cavaliers and their fans. Where the hell is Tristan Thompson? Last season in the NBA Finals, Tristan Thompson averaged a double double. But last season, Tristan Thompson wasn't dating Khloe Kar- Kardashian. Is this another case of the Kardashian curse? What a I was about to curse. I was about to use the F word. Where the hell? <laughs> I could use, I could say hell. It's a curse word, but it's in the Bible. So it's not that cursy of a curse word. But I digress. Where the hell is Tristan Thompson? Chloe Kardashian, I, I don't know if this is true. So I may be spreading false information, giving fake news. But I saw online um, by the homie on uh, Waleo on um, Black Sports, um, Waleo and on Black Sports Online. Mm-hmm. I think it was Black Sports Online first that I saw it. Um, Khloe Kardashian baked cookies for the entire entire Cleveland Cavalier uh, basketball team. Khloe, stay out, just stay out. Uh, yeah, stay out of the locker room. Like LeVar Ball said, stay in your lane. Let those boys play ball. Don't don't curse them. Don't let don't 
let them be defeated before they even step on the court. Tristan Thompson, man, why'd you do it to yourself? James Harden did it to himself the year before. Tristan, why did you do it to yourself, man? Man, I don't listen. I don't know the Kardashians personally. I'm pretty. I don't know if they're good people or not. You know, I mean, get money. I'm not. You know, I'm not a hater. I'm not, you know, get money however you do. But it seems that all the dudes who mess with the Kardashians, man, they're they're not doing, you know, they're not doing the best in life. You know, um, look back at um, Miles Austin when he dated um, Kim Kardashian. What happened to Miles Austin? I don't know. Um, who else? Uh, uh, Lamar Odom, he almost killed himself. <laughs> um, they include Kardashian. Um Kanye, he's went crazy. He's married uh, to Kim. Um, Rob, um, was it, um, Rob's the brother. Um, he's fat now. Um, yeah, man, I, I can, I could go on. Bruce is no longer Bruce. Um, you know, yeah. Anyway, where's Tristan Thompson? Tristan, call me, bro. Email me, bro. Damien dot banks at gmail. Hit me on Instagram and Twitter at Sports by Damien. Do something. Give me a call. Let me know you're still alive. Do we need to put a BOLA, a all points bulletin? Be on the lookout. Uh, yeah, BOLO. I learned that from Law and Order. I learned that from CSI Miami. Thank you very much, Horatio. Thank you very much. Um, Tristan Thompson, give me a call, dude. I don't know where you're at. Last season during the NBA Finals, you were beasting. And this time around, have no earthly idea where you are. But the Golden State Warriors, man, they played outstanding basketball in games one and two. Uh, again, the series shifts back to Cleveland for games three and four. Y'all got to win these two games, Cleveland. I know you did it last season, but Golden State didn't have Kevin Durant, man. And and Kevin Durant is an interesting situation for the Golden State Warriors because he left a good team. He left a, a pretty good situation in the Oklahoma City Thunder to go to the Golden State Warriors. And Golden State had a 3-1 lead in last season's NBA Finals, blew that lead. Cleveland won three games in a row, including Game 7 in Golden State. And um, they went out and got KD. After KD and Russ for Oklahoma City blew their 3-1 lead in the Western Conference Finals. And, and you know... Golden State came back and won that series to play in the NBA Finals versus the Cavaliers. So um, KD's an interesting case, but he's making all the difference right now, man. They just don't have enough weapons, and they, and they don't have any answers for KD right now because LeBron is a great defender, LeBron's a great player, but you can't ask him to guard Kevin Durant the, the entire game because Kevin Durant isn't asked to guard LeBron James the entire game. So, you know, it's, it's going to be tough for Cleveland, but if you're a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, don't panic. I, well, I'm not going to say don't panic, but um, they they are going back to Cleveland. It can be done. Take it one game at a time. Game three is tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, the games are late, man. The game started like nine o'clock, bro. I'd be struggling to get through the games. You know, I'm not a young man anymore. I got a one year old kid. I'm married. So I struggle to get through these games, especially when they start at nine o'clock. Um, but these are the NBA Finals. You got to watch it. You got to love it. NBA action is fantastic. So Golden State Warriors, Cleveland Cavaliers, game three of the NBA Finals. Who you got? I'm picking Cleveland. I picked Cleveland to win the series. Um, so I got to stick with my pick. Um, hopefully Cleveland can come back and make a series of it right now. No one's giving them a chance. They're talking about breaking up the Cavaliers. They're talking about, is Golden State the best team ever? They're talking about who's who does Cleveland have to get? I mean, everything is such a, a knee-jerk reaction in this world, especially with the social media age upon us. But, you know, I'm, I'm rocking with the Cavs. So um, hopefully Cleveland can come back and win game three, take it one game at a time. By the time the next podcast comes up hopefully the series is still going on i'm not sure it may be over on the next episode i'll be talking about either the series is going in the game uh game six or is, the series will be over so uh stay tuned i'm gonna uh take this commercial break in the podcast when we come back i got a bruh for real that's gonna knock your socks off <laughs> that's an old saying knock your socks off this is like an old man saying, hey, man, get off my lawn. Or your grandmama saying, bless your heart, baby. But let me take this commercial break. You're listening to ATS. It's the All Things Sport Podcast with your host, Damian Banks. 
Damian Banks here for Austin Davenport Construction. If you're